Hello dear friends, in this session we are going to understand how can we create a text file using Android application, how to read the files and how to write the data into file. So let's understand, here a project of category empty activity is created. I am going to design first the user interface for creating the file and writing the data into it. So I am going to create a linear layout in activity main.xml so I am specifying the orientation of this linear layout as vertical and I want to create an edit text for getting a text to be written in the file so here I am specifying the build to this edit text as match parent and height as wrap text, wrap content. Then I am specifying the ID to this as ID edit data. Then I want to specify the hint for user. Enter data to be saved okay after that i want to create one button <coughs> i want to specify the text size of this edit text as 12 point then i want to create a button once the user tap on this button, I want to store the data into file which is entered into the text, edit text. For that I am specifying the width as match parent to this button and height as wrap text. Then I want to specify the text on button is the save data. And then I am specifying the ID to this button as btn's. Save. Okay. And once the user click on the button, I want to add the function save data. So this function I'm going to add inside the main activity.java. So I'm creating this function by simply selecting this create save data in main activity. So this function will be added here. After that, I want to create another button below this button and I want to specify the ID as a read then the text I want to specify the read data and for the on click I want to write the read data function so I have to create this read data function for reading the data from the file so for that this function will be added here so inside this save data function i want to create a file inside the document folder in android application in android operating system so how to access the document folder in os so for accessing the document folder we need to call this get external file directory folder and to this function you need to specify the environment dot documents directory documents right so this function will return the directory so we need to store that directory into d d then for creating a file on this location we need to create the object of file class and we have to initialize that object by passing the directory and the name of the file that you want to create so here I want to create the data.txt in the file on that location directory documents in Android. So there is a documents folder in every Android device. Inside that document folder, I want to create the data.txt file. So for accessing the document folder, I have, access, I have called this get external file directory function. This function returns the directory, and in that directory, I want to create this data.txt file. Now, to write the data into the file, we need to create the 
file writer object so here i am going to create the writer and to this writer we need to pass the file object okay so this writer requires the exception to be handled so you can use this option add exception to the method signature it automatically through the exception will be added or you can write this statement inside the try catch block then using this writer we can write the data so what data we need to write the data that is entered by user in edit text we need to write so i am creating the object of edit text here and i am accessing or initializing that edit text object by assigning the id that is given on xml file so this data is a id of the edit text that is designed in xml file and using this edit text object we can access the data which is entered by user and I want I need to write the data inside this file using this writer object. So I can use the writer dot append function and I can pass the data as edit text dot get text dot to state. Like that I can pass the data into this file. Then I need to close this writer. To close this writer we can call the close function. So this a simple statements will write the data into the file. Now we want to write read the data from this file when user tap on this button next button that is designing this activity. The te text that we give to the, this button is read data. When user tap on this read data button, we want to read the data. So same code we can write for reading the data. We need to read the data uh, from the same file. So these two lines is common for reading the data. And for reading the data, instead of file writer, we need to create a file reader object. So I am creating here file reader object. We need to initialize this object by passing the file object. Okay. So again we need to handle the exceptions while reading the data from the file so we need to handle the file not found exception then then for reading the data we can use i am writing creating this character array character ch equal to new character of 10 so 10 10 character i want to read so I want to read the data up to the end of file. So I am reading the data into this ch is equal to then reader dot read reader dot read reader dot read. Okay. So whatever the data that we have read read from the file. We want to check that data is is not minus one. It means we need to add the exception to the method. So again, I have added the exception here. For adding the exception, so here the variable we need to create here as a integer. So instead of this array, I have declared this integer variable. Okay. So I am reading the single character from the file and I am checking whether the character is not equal to minus 1. If it is not equal to minus 1, it is that character. Means this loop will travel up to the last character which is there in the file. So I need to display this ch. I need to add this ch into String buffer. I want to create one string buffer object here. String builder. Instead of string builder, I want, I need to create the string builder object here. So I have initialized the string builder object, and in that builder, I can add the ch, and we need to convert that ch into character. So I added the character into the builder. Now we can display these characters. So this loop will move from first character to the last character and each character we are appending to the builder so now 
we can display the characters on toast so for that i am specifying the message as data then builder dot to so this simple code will display the data which is there in the file data dot txt so now we can check for the output whether this program works as per the code that we have written so this function will create a file and will write the data that is entered by the text and this function will read the data from this file and will display the data on toast so after successful execution of, execution of this application so this output window will be displayed if i enter the data into this suppose i am adding the data here coxid latu and if i tap on this save data button this coxid latu will be added into the file we can display the toast message when data is added into the file so now i am tap using click uh, click on this read read data button once user click on the read data button he will get a message whatever the character which is there in the file so all these character will be displayed on the toast window so i hope you understand thank you